Here we're looking at the instruction sheet for a practice drawing using absolute coordinate entry. You can see that there's an object that's been drawn. Each of the endpoints of the lines are going to be identified in their absolute coordinate value and then we'll use that for making the drawing. When I'm identifying absolute coordinate values of endpoints, I always start counting from the origin or zero zero point and this is usually found in the lower left corner of my AutoCAD drawing screen. And I always count the value starting at zero. So I can see that my start point for this object is three comma three. That's three on the X and three on the Y will give me a start point. Now because these are absolute coordinates, I'm looking at their absolute value. So to go to point two, I'm going to stay at three on the X, but I'm going to move to five on the Y. So this would have a value of three comma five. To move to point three, I'm going to move two places on the X. So this would have a value of five on the X and five on the Y, five comma five. So you can see we have a grid here or a chart. You could fill in the absolute coordinate values of each of the points and then we'll use that for making the drawing. I'm going to start a new drawing in AutoCAD and rather than use a standard template I'm going to go to my my drawing files and use a template of my own. And I'm going to be drawing this in model space and I know that my start point is 3 on the X and 3 on the Y absolute coordinate value. I'll start a line command and you'll notice that dynamic input is on by default. I'm going to give my start point of 3 comma 3 and hit enter and now that I've established that point I want the next end point and we said that this one was going to be at 3 comma 5 3 on the X 5 on the Y but you'll notice that that doesn't look right down here in the command line I can see that by default with dynamic input on when I enter my two coordinates it enters them as a relative value. You see that little at symbol there. So I'm going to undo that last one. I'm going to turn dynamic input off and enter my coordinate values directly onto the command line. So my next point we said was 3 comma 5 enter and that gives me that absolute coordinate value. The next point is 5 comma 5 and I've started to draw my object. Now that I've reached this point, my last point is also going to be my starting point. So 3 comma 3 should bring me back to my starting point and hit enter to end my line command. Now that my object is finished, I'm going to change from model to my layout. And in order to center and scale this, on my layout, I need to activate the viewport. I'm going to click on my toggle button for paper, and this activates the viewport. With the viewport active, I can use my model space tools, such as pan and zoom, to center the object, and I can see that my scale has been set to, to full size one to one. To turn off the viewport I click again on model and move back into paper space. At this point I could edit the text in my title block in order to finish my drawing.